This was a good week for getting us into a routine. We began our routine that we had set up previously and just tried to live it out the best we could. It's not chocolate, what is it? Is it marmalada and mandole? Is it almondes? Yeah. Is it good? Yeah. For us as a family, that means going out to Tornatora after mass in Italian and then walking to the park and visiting some of the friends that we have in the neighborhood. This was also a good week to get to know our students a little bit better. We had set in a routine with them, which is lunch and dinner a couple times a week, and then also doing a couple events with them. Kidding me? Like what? Is there a lot of something in there? What is it? What's in there? Is it Nutella? Yeah. We pick on Italians for filling everything, but seriously, they do. This is a blueberry muffin filled with blueberry jam. And yes, it is delicious. What are you waiting for? Are you waiting so we can pray? Yeah. Cinnamon today. No more. Cinnamon. Did you ask for cinnamon? He asked if I liked it, I said yes, and he put it on top. <laughs> okay. What do you think of the cinnamon and sugar cappuccino? It's probably my favorite thing that they've done to our cappuccinos. I wasn't sure. He, he always asks, do you like whatever? And then I say yes, and he puts it on our cappuccino, and he asked if we like cinnamon. I was like, should I just say no, so that he doesn't put that on the cappuccino? That doesn't sound like it would be good, but it's actually really, really good with, uh, with the sugar on it, with the cinnamon and sugar on top. It's really, really good. Yeah, I'm also a big fan. Same. You like onion powder. Okay guys, we just got empanadas at the empanada stand at the market and we could smell something really, really good in the market and I was like, I'm hungry, let's just go. It's a little later than we would normally be at the park. And they had five different kinds, right? Five different kinds? Yeah. Yeah, and so we ended up getting um, a meat one, like a sausage and beef one, and then a chicken one and a prosciutto and cheese one for Augie. And the prosciutto and cheese one was fine, but the beef one and the chicken one, Phenomenal, so, so good. We'll definitely be going back and you can also get them with beer. We were like, it's kind of like our mid-morning snack, so we're not gonna do that. Plus we're with the boys, but they were really, really good. What are you wearing? What are we dressed up for? Is it for convivium?
How's your gelato? It's good. Is it turning your tongue red? Yeah. What color? What kind is it? I mean, is it raspberry? Yeah. Mom got raspberry and lemon lemon crema. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. They do alcohol tastings in the grocery store like they do with food in the U.S. and they came with these great glass glasses. That's for Chuck. Should I give it to Chuck? It's cream and powdered sugar and sprinkles. This part is cream, and then the white stuff is powdered sugar, and then these like white things on here, those are sprinkles. Good morning everybody, our plans kind of changed for today, but instead of going to Orvieto, we are actually taking a bus right now and we're going to the church called Santa Croce in Jerusalem. It has been on our vlog before, but... In the apse, you'll see two people, an emperor from the Eastern Roman Empire and from Persia, and they're fighting over the cross to the death. On Saturday night, we had a free evening, so we decided to go out as a family and do a family date night. We decided to go to John Calense, which is a restaurant we take the students to at the beginning, but you guys will see all of the delicious food we eat. Look at that cinematic experience. Okay, I actually did a really poor job of recording food, but this is beef tartare, and then I got a strufaloni with cheese, broccoli, and sausage. It was delicious. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.